All right, guys, so we're starting on part three of the camouflage, and I've already got a couple of areas here done. I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna do this, um, but I'm actually masking it all off. I'm just doing the top right now. I will start on the bottom as soon as I get the top completed. I'll roll it over and uh, yeah, so it's looking pretty good and I will get the next section taped off and I'll come back and show you what I got. Okay guys, so I hope you can see how I've got everything masked, masked off for this section of black here. It is a pain, but it's gonna look good. It's damp right now. I'm gonna pull back so you can see. I've got plastic bags on the back of the plane to protect it from a little overspray. Um, so this is uh, what we got going. I'm getting ready to take the blow dryer and hit this so it'll dry real quicker and I'll pull this off and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so here's the finished stripe in black. And uh, again, looking pretty crisp. And yes, it is a pain, but very well worth it. Okay guys, just wanted to give you another update of where I'm at. Um, I've gotten this far. Uh, don't have, of course, you know, this isn't attached. I'm going in now and painting this. I got a lot of black back in here to do, of course. Don't have the cone or anything on yet because there's no need to. It's easier to take apart. And then I got to flip it over and do the other side. So uh, yeah, I just wanted you guys to see kind of where I'm at in the procedure. Um, I wish I could film more of this for you guys, but it's just hard to film by myself and everything at the same time. And uh, I might put the uh, tack cam on here shortly and um, get some more done before it's all over with. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and show you where I'm at. And I uh, hope you like it. Say hey, Jet. All right, guys, <clears throat> so seeing how my wife is a genius, she came up with this technique of masking off my plane. This is contact paper for doing her vinyl that she custom designs for stuff as well. Um, this product works great. It's low tack, does not stick to your plane, and uh, comes off very easily, does not peel paint. I'm going to show you here with this piece I've already cut out for the tail section. Um, you peel it apart, which is <laughs> actually the hardest part of the process. If I can get my hands up in here to get it apart, I will show you what I mean. All right, guys, so I've got it apart, and I have it laying here on the plane now. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's very light tack. So what I'm doing here is just kind of getting my placement right for this so that it will line up with the other wing. As you can see, I have the contact paper laying on the plane here. You can see my lines where I drew it out with a Sharpie to get the right lines. Biggest thing is just make sure your edge is stuck down before you spray. Uh, this will come all the way back and under here and then go around black. So this is what I have and now I've got to get this all taped off and then this will all be black as well. So stay with me. I have this whole area masked off. This is the contact paper that's clear. I have another piece of contact paper following this line. And then I have everything else masked off for overspray protection just in the event. So. I'm going to get my airbrush now and uh, kind of show you what I'm doing here. Hopefully you can see this better with the overhead camera. Um, I'm going to use a piece of paper towel. Airbrush is spraying good. So here we go. I'm going to start coming back this way. And then when I get over here, I'm going to come this way because I don't want to blow up underneath anything that might be raised. I'm going to keep checking this line here. Um, same thing over here. I'm going to blow back this way so as not to blow up under here. Um, I've got a piece of tape here just to protect this edge. So here we go, guys.
go ahead and get my edges crisp first. I'll make sure this is down good here before I spray. Come back from this direction here, guys. Let's see if I can. Stuck down good. Okay. Go ahead and get that black. Paint. <clears throat> no, time to clean the tip, guys. Now, mainly just using air, guys, to help dry this a little bit. Coming in there just a little bit more. We'll look at it closely, just make sure everything looks good. All right. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to go get my blow dryer, guys, and hit this. I'll be right back. Okay guys, again, your blow dryer works really good with light heat just to dry this paint. I'm going to show you what I do. Sorry about the sound of the dryer, but there's no other way to do it. So here we go. And you'll see the paint dry and go matte in front of you. This will also give you an idea if you need to go back and touch up anything before you take your masking off. I don't think I am though. I think I got this pretty good. Take all this off here. And if you have any places like on here, you know, when you're done, you touch those up with a brush if you need to. I'm going to go ahead, <clears throat> if you notice guys, the paint's drying really nicely. Um, you can tell where it's still damp, you can tell where it's dry. <coughs> Excuse me guys. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this piece up, just like so. And there's that. And I'm going to lay it to the side because guys, you can reuse this stuff. So I'm going to lay it right over here. And uh, I'll go ahead and remove this piece here slowly and pull it back against itself, guys, very carefully. And I did detach this on a paper towel, as I've told you earlier. I'm going to save this tape as well, guys. You may need it later. And lay it to the side. Take this piece off the towel. Take this off of here. Lay that to the side. Move this. Okay, now take this out of the way here. Slowly remove this. Very carefully. See how nicely that contact paper comes off, guys? See, you can't beat that. Awesome. Awesome lines. My wife is a genius. 
Okay, now if you can see right here, I got a little bleed, so I'm going to show you how to fix that problem um, while it's, you know, not too terribly dry. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take some regular 70% alcohol on a Q-tip. And I'm going to dip it in, get off the excess by working it around. And I'm just going to come right in this line here and take it almost like a pencil and follow that line. Just clean that up. Give it a crisper edge. See how much nicer that looks, guys? It's just cleaner. A little bit right there, maybe. And once I dirty this up a little bit, you know, it's going to blend in some of these lines. So it's not a, you know, big deal. Okay, so that's clean. So now what we're going to do is finish drying this since we have the tape and everything off. Just using this dryer. <coughs> Put a low heat just to dry that paint a little quicker so I can see everything really nicely. It's almost dry. Got a little spot here, a little bit here. And uh, just going to dry that up. See how it's going away, guys? You can tell when it's dry because there's no more shine. Nice. <clears throat> Lay that out of the way. All right, now this is dry to the touch. So, that's that part. Now, once we have this where it needs to be right about here this line here will come in and carry down across this tip right here just like so and I will get that painted now I'm masking off all of this and now we're going to go back to the pieces that we've already had <coughs> here and that we saved because now we can use those so i'm just going to lay that there and kind of just get an eyeball of uh where i'm thinking this needs to be and uh just kind of move this around a little bit and i will definitely cut my angles to work right here this is why you don't put this stuff together guys it just makes it so much easier uh to do this than if you put it all together too soon okay so what i'm going to do here i want this line to extend around to here like this so i'm going to cut this piece and what i'm going to do first is lay it back up here just like so and then i'm going to find my sharpie wherever it may be all right guys so what i'm going to do is I'm going to extend this a little further back by just adding this same piece back and spraying this in now because I want more on my uh, elevator there and in order to do that I need more paint here so I'm just going to lightly come in here and fill in this line Okay, now sit this back down, clean the tip first. Gonna sit that back down in the holder. Now I'm gonna peel this back up. Take it back off. Just lay it down for now. I'm gonna take my Q-tip again, clean this line. Get it nice and crisp here like I want it, perfect. All right, now 
I'm going to peel this back off. Okay, and that'll dry on its own. It's good. Okay, now when I hold this up here where it belongs, now I made a mark. I can come back and I want to come around like this. So now I'm going to take this same piece that I used. But before I use it, I'm going to just take a paper towel and I'm going to just wipe off any paint that might be under the edges or wherever. Just don't want to get anything on anything that we don't want to have to get off. And then I'm just going to kind of lay it up here and look at the design that I want. So we can do it like this. Just kind of lay it on the plane, on the wing. Take a Sharpie. This We know it's going to start here. So I kind of want this kind of come down and around here like so. I'll just make you a nice line. I'm going to size it back up by putting it here. Yeah, that'll work out great. It'll join into there. So I'm going to take this back up. And now I'm going to cut this out. Close up my Sharpie so it doesn't dry out. I'm just going to take my scissors and uh, cut this design out of this right here. I'm just going to follow these lines. Just very neatly get you a good. And you can do this with a blade too, guys, if you want. I just I like my scissors. Gives me a little more control. I'm gonna take that piece out. So that now this will lay. See our dot right here. I'm gonna go right below that, like so. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna stick that down. And now I'm going to spray this. I'm just going to make sure all my edges are nicely stuck down. This stuff is amazing, guys. Um, so, yeah. So, let me grab my airbrush again. Okay. Now we're just going to come in here. Hit this. Might be out of paint now. Yes, I think I am, of course. Oh, yeah. So, we'll add some more wherever it is over here. Let's get a little bit in here for now. It's not going to take a lot for this. Thank you guys so much for joining in on these videos. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you find something useful that can help you out here. Um, I have a lot of fun doing this, guys. back in the holder so it doesn't go anywhere and we're going to remove this like so again uh, if I can find my q-tip here it is I'm gonna get a little alcohol here and clean up this line as well just get a fresh end on there Get off the excess so it's not dripping and then I'm going to take this I'm going to go right around the edge here just to give this a little better edge that doesn't look good does it I'm sharper than that guys Yeah, I'm not digging that. I'm going to dry this and then I'll come back and hit it again.
as you can see that's drying pretty good to where I can come back and remask it and do it again before I do that I'm going to just see how it matches up with the plane all right we're pretty dry there so we're going to sit this back up here look at our lines yeah that's a good match so I'm going to come back in where's my piece let me wipe all this off Right, stay with me. All right, guys. Now you can see what I've got here, just like that, and that matches up nicely here. So now we'll be moving on to more of the back end because that's really all the black on this part of the elevator. So stay with me. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> I've got the or a vertical stab mast off and now I'm just going in here and uh, getting everything started. I hope you guys can see this. This, this end come around here uh, I need to take off that light guys sorry give me a minute Take this out, pull this back, clean the needle, put it back in, push it through a couple of times, clean your tip off, spray on some paper, looks better. Now let's see if I can do this. She's spraying much better now, guys. I'm going to sneak up around this light. Get this done again. I'll come back and clean that with a little alcohol, guys. And there's that. Alright, guys. <clears throat> so, got the vertical stabilizer finished up painted down here this will remain green uh gray and then this up here will be white so now i've just got to take this off and we'll get to that so but there's that much of that done um if you guys can see that okay um it's looking really good and again painted over the water slides guys and as you can see they're gone um so yeah, that's, that's turned out really good, and I'll get this 
up here masked off and get back with you. Okay guys, so I'm installing the EDF into the F16. This is a 90 millimeter in runner 1835 KV. Uh, when I install these guys, I put a little phone tack just around each screw, just as a precautionary measure. And now I'll be securing the ESC to the board and then putting all this back in and of course touching up some things with the airbrush because you're gonna knock off a little paint doing some of this. But uh, So there's the bottom view guys and uh, I'll be back in just a little bit. All right guys, so as you can see, just a quick overview of what I've got going on here. I don't have the wings attached yet with screws. Um, the power system is in and running great. Um, the vertical stabilizer is attached. Uh, the tail cone is now attached. Um, these pieces are attached. I have not put the ventral fins on yet. They're painted. Um, but this is just an overview of what I've got here. And uh, I don't know if I can give you a view of the bottom. So you can kind of see what it's looking like from underneath. Um, looks really, really good. I'm very pleased with how everything has turned out. Um, like I said, uh, I'll be showing you more as I move along. I'm going to put a coat of polyacrylic on this before I apply the decals, which my wife has helped uh, to make. And they will go on after the first coat of poly. I do have a coat of poly already on the wings. Um, you can tell a little bit of difference in how much richer the poly makes the paint look here versus just the flat paint. You can see a pretty good difference there. Um, the poly really makes it pop makes the details come out. You can see a little more with the, say, matte finish that I'm using, so you're not getting a lot of shine. If you can tell on that wing when I try to focus the light over here. Um, but yeah, she is looking really good. I haven't put on the horizontal stabilizers or elevators yet. I'm gonna poly those separately, uh, like I did the wings. And then we'll be attaching the uh, wings like they're supposed to be, the elevators and the ventral fins and finishing up everything as far as that goes other than decaling which I will get to as you can see they are here and we'll be going on um, and so yeah that's where I'm standing right now and hope you guys like this and uh, I'll be back.